fart? Are you snuggling with Alex? Are you snuggling? Or fart? Where you going? <laughs> hey, come back here. Where you going, buddy? What you doing? Hi, handsome. No, you can't come up here. I'm sorry, you can't snuggle with me. You can't snuggle with me. No. Okay. If you don't think my dog talks. He's trying to tell me that his ball is stuck. Even though it's just right there. Bart, get it. Where is it? Get it. Get it. Where is it? But you had it right there. Get it. Get it. Get it here. Get it here. No, that. Get the ball. Is it stuck? Is it stuck and you can't get it out? There we go. Get it. What? What are you barking at, goof? <laughs> Bart! Stop it! Get the ball! You want something else over there? Right, let's see what you want. Okay, so I have a little bit of an update for you. Um, I got a phone call today that um, gave me the results of the MRI on my knee. So if you'll remember about a month ago when um, John and Marlo were doing the stuff out in the barn and, and fixing lights and stuff, I went out in the barn and I was on crutches. And then training Ryder for a little while, um, I was having to have my husband do that. And I just thought my knee was strained or, or sprained or, you know, not a big deal, right? And pretty soon my knee became extremely unstable and it was bending in directions it was never meant to bend. And so I thought, you know, maybe there's, there's something more to it. So I went to my doctor and I had him order me an MRI and I went and I got that last, oh gosh, last Thursday and I just got the results. Any one of his feet. He's like, oh, I love you. I love you. Oh, yes, yes. A little to the left. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys were out this morning. I didn't see you out here, but so what was she? Was she, she ovulated to uh, what was the follicle? 38 by 30 on the left again. Yes. She it was the left last time too. Yes. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. Or in backwards, but it's 38 by 39. Okay. So are you going to breed her today and then 2 days from now or tomorrow? Yeah, we'll breed her today. Dr. Robinson said check with Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday, okay. Okay. She's going into surgery. Yeah, I'm going into surgery on Thursday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. If I have to move her to my place and then just bring her back down to y'all, or have they, to they can just come here. It's totally fine. They they do it all the time. They literally, Deborah, they literally do it all the time. And my family is going to be here to feed and take care of and stuff like that. So it's not a big deal. Hi, you. Hi. Look, he's trying to eat my uh, my water bottle here. Hi. You are so curious. What? 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 So we're going to try it again. She's one month. Is today? Today's the 22nd. So he's one month tomorrow. That's all he is? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so I have some sad news and some sadder news. Um, so with my injury, which is why I'm limping, um, I have torn my ACL and broken a bone in my leg. So 
I have to have surgery tomorrow morning and my recovery is going to be such where I'm not going to be able to continue the training on spot that I wanted to do. So um, I'm going to have to take spot and Maddie home. The other day they were, excuse me, Maddie was rebred um, and that's going to be their last chance for the year to make sure that she takes. We're going to take her back home to Casa Grande until she's confirmed in full and then they're going to be taken up to Colorado to get out of the heat for the summer which will be good for both of them um, and then Maddie will come back next year so um, they are out in the pasture right now having some turnout time and oh Arch is going to come out and help me um, we've hooked up the horse trailer and we've got to take them home so I'm gonna miss this little guy. He's just, he's got my heart, darn it. He is so fun and so cute and so smart and he learns so fast and I'm just, it's breaking my heart. I don't wanna see him go, but um, it was inevitable. He was gonna have to go home at some point. So this is the end of foaling season. Let's go get him in the trailer. My Maddie. She is such a good girl. She's so sweet. Like, such a good girl. I know. Let's go get your baby on the halter, okay? What? Come on, let's go. All right, so let's get them out of the pasture. Little spot, what are you doing? <laughs> kiddo. Where are you going? What? Are you going to get spicy on me? Huh? No, he's always spicy, no matter who leads him. He's just a little spicy. He's just being a baby is all. Come on, kiddo. Let's get you in the trailer. Horse. He's gonna be so smart when he grows up. Come on, Mama. Let's go. Okay, hang on. We gotta kinda sorta ish do it at the same time. So this time, knowing that I've been having a problem hauling horses um, since the accident and that I've had a panic attack and things like that, um, John's going to go with me. Um, I'm going to make sure that I drive, but, um, you know, the horses are in the trailer. Everything is locked in and everything, but we just need to make sure that, you know, I get used to hauling horses again because this is like super hard for me. So. Um, he's loading up the grain and the extra shavings that we had, um, and uh, we're gonna head. We're gonna head that way. So, oh, we have to get the uh, fly spray. Forgot about that. Okay, so here we go. We're taking him home, and John's my emotional support because I tend to have a panic attack as I drive. It's it's not with an empty trailer. It's with a full trailer. So, I'll. I'll come back to you when we get the horses going, but I'm not going to film while we're driving, so. All right, hold on. Mama's here, just a minute. Come on. Oh, this is a nice little box for them. Should we put down those shavings? I have three bags of shavings I'm bringing. Yeah, you absolutely. All right, we made it home. Doesn't he got, he's gotten so big. He's gotten so big. 
All right. Do you want to swing that door shut so I can let him go? Hold on, kiddo. Okay, so again, we're at a very new place. He doesn't know where he's at. And so he's nursing for comfort, first of all, because it's been a long ride and he doesn't quite know where he's at. So I'm going to see if we can't take this center bar out and give him a little bit longer of a run out here so he can pick up a little bit more speed. But um, yeah, so... Um, it's up to you. And then once you clean this out, he, you, you can use the other two, you know, I would move it away from the water, you know, whatnot, but, yeah. um, she hasn't been fed dinner yet. Okay. So we're going to need to put her, that to her. But anyway, okay. um, can you, uh, come out here for a second? Uh -huh. Is there a possible way that we can maybe take this center piece out? and give them the whole run. Okay, so I'm finding it really hard to leave because this is, he's just, oh, I love him. Oh my goodness. Okay, see you later, dude. See you later. You gonna go exploring? You gonna go exploring your new digs, huh? No, don't eat the straw, weirdo. Don't eat this. Yeah, he'll try and eat the straw. Only because he doesn't know any better. But don't let him out. Don't let him out. <laughs> All right. Kisses. I love you. Oh, I can't do it on my leg. Okay, give me kisses. I love you. I love you. Mm, you're my favorite. Hey, I'm allowed to have my favorites. I'm allowed. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Okay, so he's home. I'm so glad. It was so cute because Deborah's husband was so excited to have Spot home. But I'm just gonna, so, I'm gonna miss him like crazy. So um, they have a great little dirt turnout. So, but honey, it really meant a lot to me that you were with me. I literally had a mini panic attack, but it was gone within like three miles, you know. And I needed to be able to build up my confidence again hauling horses and that that went beautifully it went absolutely perfectly um and you know baby hauled great i'm so glad we did it in the cool of the night because um we got here and it's 86 degrees which is as much as we can hope for when hauling horses in arizona because it's stupid hot so um anyway we're headed back home it's going to be like an hour drive what is it 45 minutes something like that so okay and um and then john's got to go and do stuff with the youth and i have to prepare for my surgery tomorrow so wish me luck okay so i've got my iv on i've got my little hat on got my little stockings on and we're ready to go so um probably not going to film when i come out because i'm going to be drugged up but um let's get this done okay so i just met with my doctor and I have a feeling that they just put something in my IDV IV because my head just got really loopy. Yeah. I think they just put something in my IV. Probably did. And I'm gonna be going to sleep here in a second, Jennifer. All right, how about, um, let me grab your glasses real quick. You may have to be the one that hits the stop record button on my phone because I'm going to sleep right now. <laughs> That's the best I've done. I literally, I can't even see from here to my phone. This is hysterical. Are you still recording? I am. This is, Say goodbye. This is so funny. Okay, so um, I'm awake for pretty much the first time when I haven't been in excruciating pain. So it's like 3.30 in the morning the next day. Um, so what happened was I got in there and right as I was videotaping, they put something in my IV and it made me like super loopy. And I, I mean, before I could like end that video, I was out. Um, and so I didn't even feel them move my, uh, gurney into the operating room, which was good. Um, they did a nerve block on me and this particular type of nerve block or the muscle that they blocked, um, it either works or it doesn't. And this one didn't. So they did the whole surgery 
and I woke up basically without the nerve block being active, being good. Um, and it just felt like my knee was going to explode. And I went through all of my Dilaudid, all of my morphine, all of the, all of the pain control drugs that the nurse could possibly give me. She was sitting there on countdown. She's like, okay, you can have it in two minutes. You can have it in five minutes, you know, that type of thing. Um, and so she would give me the dose that I could have as soon as I could have it. And my, my pain level would go down a little bit and then up and then down a little bit and then up. And, and it just, it was just blowing my mind how bad I would rather have a baby without an epidural than, you know, deal with, oh, it was so bad. So, um, they decided that, uh, they were to the point where they're like, okay, it's time to go home. We've given you all the pain control that we can here. You know, you need to go home and you can have another pain pill um, when you get home. And I was like, can you just a, a random thought came in my head. I was like, can you ask the doctor if I can have another nerve block? I was kind of being facetious. I was kind of being funny, I guess. Um, and they're like, yeah, we can do a different nerve block. So the the nerve block that they had was on this side of the leg and the nerve block that they ended up doing was on that side of the leg. And the reason that they didn't do that first one was because when they do this surgery on like bodybuilders, when they wake up and they get back to normal life, they complain about not having full use of that particular muscle. Um, so I'm not a bodybuilder. It really doesn't matter. So I was like, let's do it. But the problem was now I'm having that nerve block wide awake. So they wheel the ultrasound machine in and they have this machine that they stick a needle in my leg and then they send electrical impulses into my leg so that that nerve will fire and they, they can know whether or not they're in the nerve to be able to block that nerve. Um, that hurt. So when they did that, my whole leg was like jumping up and down on the table and I was having to have my husband hold my leg down so that the doctor could do what he needed to do without, um, without me, my leg moving his needle, which it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. So he's like five, four, three, two. And all of a sudden my whole leg just went numb. I couldn't feel anything. I was like, thank you so much. And it was so funny because the nurse was like, you have a much better personality when you're numb than when you're not, than when you're in pain. So my doctor, my anesthesiologist, my pre-op nurse, my post-op nurse, everybody was absolutely fabulous. I'm so grateful for them. Um, and it, it just, it worked out. So I got home, I have this fabulous knee brace on um, which holds my leg straight. My mom sent me this ice machine to, to it like water goes in and then it like circulates around my knee. Um, and I have these like, like machines that squeeze my legs to keep prevent blood clots. And I, right now my son called me a high maintenance, <laughs> which was kind of funny. So, um, we're trying to figure out how I'm going to get to Tennessee for this wedding. I think we're going to have to make me like kind of a makeshift bed in the back of the minivan and do what we can do. Um, by then I will have had my first post-op appointment with my doctor actually on the way out of town. And, um, I should be able to bend my knee. We should be able to move this in a way that I can bend my knee. Um, and there is a, um, like a, a, an adapter that I'll be able to plug in my ice machine in the car. Um, so I'll be able to keep my, my knee on ice on the way out, out there. So it's a 24 hour drive. Um, and we're going to stop in Ada, Oklahoma, and then we're going to run down to the sundowner, um, horse trailer manufacturer to get a couple of stud walls um, and some extra stuff. And then we're going to head back out to Tennessee for the wedding. And we're not going to be there for very many days before we have to get back in the car and come on back home. So it's going to be kind of an adventure. So my cousin is going to be staying here with her husband. 
taking care of all the critters. So now that the kids are out of school for the summer, that is so weird to say. Um, now that the kids are out of school for the summer, um, we'll be able to, you know, clean up the house and get, get our checklist of everything done so that we can leave to go on that trip. But that's how, that's what I'm doing. So yeah, um, they got in there and it was a, I'll have to find the pictures of my, of my surgery. They, they got pictures of the ACL completely torn, um, in a couple of different spots actually. So it, it wasn't an 80% tear. It was a hundred percent tear. So, um, anyway, so yeah, the, the surgery, the actual operation went beautifully. They took a section of my leg, a muscle in my leg and created a, um, ACL for me out of that. I don't know how they attached it. I'm going to have to watch a video and see how they attach it because I'm not exactly sure how that works, but I'm pretty much bedridden unless I need to use the restroom. Um, so I've, I've got some friends bringing me meals and things like that, but so far I'm doing as best as I can. So, um, trying to stay on top of my medication and, you know, keeping me out of pain and things like that. My poor husband has been up multiple times a not, night, just not for me, but like my dog needs to go out to go potty or, you know, whatever that type of thing. So anyway, 